Okay, so here we're looking at question 15 from exercise 6b. So it's one of the uh, application type rates questions from the Algebra 2 chapter. So let's go ahead and highlight the key information and try to draw a diagram. So we have here a journey between two towns um, of three, 233 by rail followed by 126 by sea. So straight away, let me call this T1 for town one. Let me call this T2 for town two. And I have my rail journey and I have my sea journey. Now you don't need to draw this physical diagram necessarily, but I find I make fewer mistakes when I do that. And I find that students make fewer mistakes when they do that. So it's really highly recommended. So I'm told that this is 233 kilometers and this is 126 kilometers. And I'm also told there's a second route which is 405 by rail and 39 by sea. So I'm gonna draw that with a different color pen. So not the greatest railway you've ever seen, but hopefully that's clear. And then this last bit by sea. Um, so in this case, 405 kilometers and 39 kilometers. Okay, um, now next part talks about the time taken for the first route is 15 minutes longer than for the second route. Immediately, um, alarm bells should be going off whenever you see minutes, because very rarely will we have speed in terms of minutes. So straight away, convert that into five on six hours, and hopefully that will be useful. Okay, so what we know is that we can write down, um, write down time for root one, and we can write that down simply using the idea that the rate of time, the time is equal to the distance divided by the speed. Okay, so we have a distance of 233 kilometers and we can introduce a variable. So 233 on however fast it's going over that rail portion, plus if we look at the 126, the speed would be different um, so 126 divided by the speed over the C portion. Cool. Um, and we can do the same thing for root 2. So time for root 2 is equal to um, the 405 divided by speed of the rail um, plus the 39 divided by speed of the C. Okay. Finally, in our information, we're told that traveling by rail is 24 kilometers, 25 kilometers an hour faster than traveling by sea. So we can actually um, remove one of these variables here. So for instance, let's remove that, that one um, and rewrite each of them just in terms of the speed of the rail. So 233 on SR, the greatest R I've ever written, SR plus 126 on SR minus 25, because again, traveling by C is 25 kilometers an hour slower. We're gonna do the same thing down here. So this is 405 on SR plus 39 on SR minus 25. So if we go back then and have a look at this bit of information here, so if the time taken for the first route is 15 minutes longer than for the second route, um, so I'm talking this bit here, um, we can write um, a single equation which can, from which we can solve um, for SR. So 233 on SR plus 126 on SR minus 25. Now, if that time is um, five and six hours longer than the time for a two, this will equal 405 on SR plus 39 on SR minus 25 plus that five on six, okay? Um, so from here, it's just a matter of um, multiplying out the denominators to get rid of them. So we might start by multiplying. Now actually let's start with, so let me undo that. We'll start with multiplying by the six and then we'll do the variables. So 
for from here on in, um, feel free to use a scientific calculator. Okay, it's not reasonable to do these types of numbers by hand or in your head, um, because you'll there's nothing to be gained from that. So we will end up with um, thirteen ninety eight. On SR plus 756 on SR minus 25 equals 2430 on SR plus uh, 234 on SR minus 25 plus 5. Okay, um, now we basically just multiply every term by both SR and SR minus 25. So I'll do that in one step. So 1398 times SR minus 25, because the SRs would have cancelled, right? plus 756 SR, because the SR minus 25s would have cancelled, equals 2430 SR minus 25 plus 234 SR plus five, um, now in this case there's nothing to cancel, so it's just five times SR, SR minus 25. Okay, um, before expanding, I'm actually gonna look at taking everything to the left first because I can treat that and that as like terms. So I end up with negative 1032, um, SR minus 25. I can similarly treat this and this as like terms. So I get uh, plus 522 SR and finally minus 5 SR, SR minus 25 equals zero. Now we can go ahead and expand again just using a scientific calculator. So 1,032 SR plus 25,800 um, plus 522 SR minus 5 SR squared plus 125 SR equals 0. So if we then um, put together our like terms and so on, we will end up with negative 5 SR I think here we will get negative 385 SR when we put that, that, and that together. Um, plus 25,800, and that equals to zero. Okay, so at this stage we can go ahead and divide by negative five um, to get SR, that should be squared. Um, on its own. So SR squared plus 77SR minus 5160 equals 0. At this stage really I'd be quite happy with you just doing that on the calculator but sometimes it is good practice, well always it's good practice to either try using the quadratic formula um, or as I'm going to do in this case try to complete the square. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So SR plus 77 on 2 squared minus 77 on 2 squared minus 5, 1, 60 equals 0. So now expand um, the 77 on 2 squared, so minus 5, 9, 2, 9 on 2, again just, sorry, on 4, and that 5, 9, 2, 9 is just using the calculator. Minus 20, 6, 40 on 4, so all I'm doing there is just changing that so that it's on 4 to make it easy to add them up, um, take everything, well take the two numbers to the other side, so I end up with 26569 on 4, take the square root of both sides, so we get SR plus 77 on 2 equals square root of 26569 on 2, remembering that it's plus minus. Um, now fortunately for us, um, square root of 26569 is quite a nice number. So we end up with negative 77 on 2 plus minus 163 on 2. So our two possible answers 
uh, either um, negative 240 on 2 or um, positive uh, 80 or 86 on 2. Now again for obvious reasons as you might have seen with other questions um, a negative answer is not feasible in this case because we're looking at a speed um, and so that's our answer so in other words speed um, over the rail component is 43 kilometers an hour it's just 86 divided by 2 if we go up is that what they were asking um, find the average speed by rail and the average speed by sea um, so we've found the average speed by rail so that's this thing here remembering that the speed by sea is 25 kilometers lower so speed over the C component just 43 minus 25 so it's 18 kilometers an hour okay and so we finally got there um, in all honesty very 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 unlikely to get this as an exam type question because the numbers are so big and it's really supposed to be testing algebra um, however getting it to this stage here or being able to get it to this stage here is really the important part here okay so don't worry too much if you didn't get it out um, so if you didn't get that final answer out um, but as long as you can set it up that's the type of question you're likely to get with numbers that are significantly smaller and that's it